Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. In today's video, this is actually a requested video and I'm gonna be sharing with you my Chanel handbag collection. I'm gonna be sharing with you all the bags that I've collected over the past 10 years. I'm going to do mod shots. That's why I'm in my closet. I'm standing up today. I'm gonna to share with you what fits in each bag and I'm gonna tell you some of the things I love and some of the things I might not love so much about each bag. So if that sounds like something you guys would be interested in, make sure to stick around. Let's get right into my Chanel handbag collection. So my bags are not going to be in any particular order, but I thought I would start with my Chanel wallet on chain. I do own two walks, so let's start with this one. This is the Chanel wallet on chain. This is in the caviar leather, and this one has silver hardware. Now, mine is one of the older versions. It does have a button closure, as you can see. It's one of my complaints about the bag because I find sometimes it's a pain to snap it shut. The newer walks do have the magnetic closure which I find to be a little more user friendly. So you can see it's in the beautiful caviar. It has the Mona Lisa pocket. You open it up. It, uh, it has a zip compartment up here and the really cool thing about the walk is the zip compartment goes all the way down. So if let's say you're in Vegas or you're traveling and you have a large bill that you're traveling with you can put it and it'll go all the way down that's one thing the classic flaps they do have this compartment but it doesn't go all the way down so keep that in mind and it has a little flap here there is a zip compartment here and then on the inside you can see it does have six credit card slots and it has this beautiful burgundy interior the way that I typically use this I will put cash and coin in this little zip compartment and then you can put a card holder, you can put a lipstick. I will do an overlay so you can see what fits. It's not a very large bag, but you can see you can fit your essentials. But if you don't wanna carry a wallet, there are some spots for your cards. Now I wanna share with you how I normally wear it. One thing what you can do is you can always put the chain on the inside and you can kind of just carry it as a clutch. I have done that before. My favorite way to wear it is as a crossbody bag and I would say for a crossbody bag it's a little bit longer but this is I'm about five foot three just for reference but this is how I typically like to wear the bag as a crossbody. There are so many different ways to wear this bag. You can also like cross the chains like this and you can wear it as a shoulder bag as you can see. There are a ton of different creative ways that people have come up with to wear it, but those are the three main ways I wear it, either as a clutch, as a crossbody, or a shoulder bag. But this is a really, really good bag if you want, like let's say you're, I always use Vegas as an example because I took this with me to Vegas. Um, it was a good going out evening bag and it was also a good bag during the day to have a crossbody, but you don't need to carry a lot of things with you. I love the caviar leather. It has held up really, really nicely. I just wish that mine did have a magnetic closure and one thing I would recommend that I don't have for mine but I would recommend a base shaper because what a base shaper is going to do it's going to expand the bottom so then that way you can put more in it so if I were to recommend get the newer version that comes with a magnetic closure and then also make sure to get a base shaper but if you're looking for a cute little going out bag or a bag during the day where you don't have to carry a lot this is definitely a good one and I would recommend the caviar is well because it's very durable and it's held up really nicely. Okay, the next walk I want to mention is this right here. This is the Chanel Wallet on Chain, but it is the Trendy CC. Now, I did do a comparison on my channel between this one and the regular Wallet on Chain in case you guys are interested, but I love this. When I found out the walk came out in a turn lock closure, I knew right away I wanted to get the bag. I was a little hesitant because I wasn't a huge fan of this plate right here but as I've mentioned before there is a way you can finagle the chain so that the chain is covering the plate in case the plate is a little too much for you but it doesn't bother me I love how it has a little turn lock closure now this one is in lambskin but even though it's in lambskin I have felt felt it's held up really nicely you can see it's just beautiful it still has that um, puffy quilting again you have the 
plate at the top, which I believe it or not still have the sticker on, which I wouldn't recommend, but I do still have the sticker on there. You can see the chain, it has the beautiful like champagne gold hardware and then it has the leather going through it. The fantastic turn lock closure, which I think makes this bag. Then you have the little pocket up here, but this pocket, unlike the other walk, does not go all the way down. It just goes right here, as you can see, very similar to the classic flat. It has a little compartment here. There is a zip compartment here in which you can put cash or anything. I just have my authenticity card. It does, once again, have the credit card slots, and then there is a place in there. Now, just like with the other walk, I would recommend that you get a base shaper because the base shaper is going to expand expand it. I recently ordered a base shaper for my Chanel 19. I'm super excited about that. That's just going to help keep the structure of the bag and it's going to make it so for walks you can fit a little more. So definitely check out. I think I went through M Boutique. I'm really excited to get it. I've heard so many great things about M Boutique, but this is such a good bag. It really is. Again, if you're torn on whether or not to get this one or the regular walk, definitely check out my comparison video because I go into a lot of detail. But as I stated, even though this is lambskin leather, it's held up really nicely. Um, the way that I like to wear it is I like to wear the bag as a crossbody. And right now with the crossbody, I do have the chain at the top, so it is going to shorten it a little bit. One thing that you can also do is you can pull it like this and you can see the the chain comes out the grommets at the top so you can wear it as like a cute little short shoulder bag which is really really nice the straps are not adjustable but again if you really wanted to you could also turn this into a a clutch as well just by pulling the chain through and you can just put it in there kind of carry it as like a little clutch like so. So these are very versatile, but there are also a ton of videos kind of sharing with you different ways to wear it, but those are kind of the main ways I wear it. But this is such a beautiful walk. Again, the main reason I went for this one is I love the turn lock closure. Okay, let's talk about my very first Chanel bag. This is so special to me. You've heard the story if you've been with me for a while, and it is my Chanel Classic Flap Medium Lambskin Silver Hardware. Oh my gosh. This was my dream bag. I was so excited to get it. I had the whole Chanel experience where I actually had the lady hunt it down because at the time, silver hardware was really, really hard to get. So I think she got this for me from a New York boutique. And then I went and I uh, picked it up at my local store. But I'm so excited about it. I got this like 10 years ago, so you can only imagine I got it for like half the price of what it's going for now. The prices are crazy, but beautiful lambskin leather, Mona Lisa pocket. Um, it has the beautiful turn lock closure. One thing my classic flaps have done a little bit, as you can see my flap kind of flips out like that, and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that it does ha is a double flap. I have found that, I've heard with, from people that the single flaps don't do that as much, so keep that in mind. It has the beautiful chain with the silver hardware and the leather. You open it up. Um, double flap and once again it does have this little zip compartment here but this zip compartment does not go all the way down it just kind of goes up a little bit and you know this is where Coco Chanel kept her love notes you also have a little compartment in the back here the flap opens and you can see you have this beautiful burgundy interior I have my authenticity cards made in France. And again, I will insert an overlay. I love using this bag for date nights. And I actually just realized I'm new to the party. <laughs> I just realized a way to carry my bag as a little like top handle. I found a way to adjust the strap and I actually just stumbled upon it because I store my bags like this and I happened to grab it one day. I was like, wait a minute, because of the double flap, it kind of stays this way. And all you do is you just kind of pull the chain through and you, you'll put it inside here and then when you close it you just kind of hold it but one thing you have to be very very careful with with the lambskin leather is I have scratched it with my nail I actually you guys just now while I was adjusting the strap I scratched it I don't know if you're gonna see right there yep 
right there. So you have to, I babied this bag when I first got it, but then I thought to myself, you know what, bags are meant to be used. So now whenever I go on a date night, I use this and I really just try to get a lot of enjoyment out of my bags, try to take as good a care of them as I can, but you know, they're bound to get little nicks and scratches. That's what gives them character, but you definitely have to be careful with the lambskin leather. I feel like for my bag being 10 years old, it still looks really nice. I have a few little, you know, like there's a little bit of wear in the corner there. I have a few little marks, but for the most part, I feel like it looks in great condition and I love this bag, but if you're looking for a bag that is a little more durable, you might want to try hard to find caviar leather. But again, nothing in my opinion looks nicer than a beautiful lambskin classic flap. And I was so, so thrilled to add this to my collection. I do like to either wear it like this. I will wear it as a I'll wear it as a long shoulder bag and then my favorite way to wear it is as a short shoulder bag like so see and there are some grommets they have four grommets at the top but because of the double flap it does make it a little difficult to pull the straps through but this is a beautiful bag the prices are so crazy now but if you're able to get your hands on a classic flap there is nothing more beautiful in my opinion especially if you're a handbag collector okay let's talk about one of my dream bags and I was so excited to get this bag I sold a couple of bags and I'm so happy to have it in my collection. And it is the Chanel Jumbo Classic Flap. And this is in caviar leather. You guys, I was so lucky because I got this right before the price increase. I mean like a day or two before. I was so lucky that my sales associate was able to hunt it down for me. I got this, I want to say like a year ago. And I definitely love this. The one complaint I will say about this bag is it can have a tendency to be a little heavy. I don't have anything in it and it already is a little heavy, but the wear and tear is really good. It's got the caviar leather, the gold hardware, you can see the back, the Mona Lisa pocket, but once again, my jumbo does the same thing where it, it used to be like this, but now it kind of flaps out, and I think it has a lot to do with either the way I'm storing it, or it has to do with the double flap. So I definitely have to look into that a little bit, because you see how it does kind of pucker out, and most flaps are a little more like flat like that. So if you have any tips, I would love to hear them. You open it up, once again, the beautiful turn lock closure. This has the double flap. It has the zipper here, which once again goes up, not down. You could store something in the back if you want. I don't usually. You have a huge, huge compartment. This bag fits so much, it really does. I did a dedicated video on this, and I've also done comparison videos on this in case you guys are curious. Um, it really, really does fit a lot. Um, the ways that I wear it, I showed you the way with the medium flap. I do the same thing where I just tuck the chain in and you can wear it kind of as a top handle. Or what I will do is you can also wear it as a shoulder bag, short shoulder. And then you can pull it through and you can wear it as a long shoulder. I mainly wear it as a short shoulder and I've discovered the way to wear it as a top handle and I love it. This bag is a great bag. I love the caviar, very fuss free. The only complaint is it does have a tendency to be a little heavy and sometimes the chains, because it is heavy, can dig into your shoulders a bit. But other than that, it is beautiful. I would love to have the jumbo in another color. It's just such a great classic bag and I'm so glad I was able to get it before the price increase. Okay, let's talk about a bag that I was not intending on getting. I mean, this was never a bag that was on my radar, but the thing that did it for me was the color. And I am talking about the Chanel boy bag. I don't know if it's gonna wash out on camera, so if it is a little washed out, I will insert a close-up. This is the most beautiful pink color and I remember when this pink came out um, it has lavender undertones I wanted it in the classic flap but she was not able to get it it was supposed to come in but it never did but I saw this bag 
sitting in the store. I still remember the story and I'm like, I've never been into the boy bag, but something about the boy in this pink with this silver hardware, it looks so beautiful. So I took the plunge and I got it and I really, really enjoy it. So you can see it's got the lambskin leather. You can see the back. Here is the chain. The chain is not removable, but it is adjustable with these little buttons here. Sometimes my hair can get caught in it. It's not a huge deal, but I will either wear it kind of as like a long shoulder like this, but the main way I like to wear it is as a crossbody, and I feel like it fits at a nice height crossbody. It's a little higher um, than most bags. And I just, I really, really like it. It's a really convenient bag. Actually, my sales associate said that out of all the bags, this is her favorite. She loves the boy. She owns it in black. Now to open it, I will say you have to squeeze it to open it. The one complaint I have is closing it. So you see this, I'm really having to like push down to close it. So what you kind of have to do is just when you close the bag, just kind of squeeze it and it'll close for you. So that's the one thing that has kind of annoyed me a little bit is just closing the bag. But then you open it and it is one large compartment. There is a slot back there. I actually do not have an organizer for this one. I should get an organizer for this one because if you have light colored bags, obviously you want to kind of make sure that it stays nice and clean and organizers will keep your bag clean. But this bag definitely fits quite a bit. And I have found that I definitely use it more with a casual lifestyle. I've worn this like with a white jacket and sneakers to match. I've worn this with, I think I have, like, I've worn this in the summer months. It is just such a beautiful pink. It really is. And I need to do a dedicated video on the boy bag to give you guys positives and negatives. I think that's one video I haven't done yet. But so far, sometimes my hair can get caught in these little buttons here. And then it is kind of a pain to close. But for the most part, because it is a rectangular shape, it does fit nicely on your on your body so really love this bag but I'm not gonna lie the color was one of the main reasons I purchased it let's talk about a bag that I picked up in Vegas and you guys when I went to Vegas I think I kind of knew right away that this is the bag I was gonna get because you know how sometimes you're not planning on getting a bag but one just like stands out and I was on a pink kick lately last year and I saw this bag it is the Chanel Deauville once again in a beautiful pink. Now, I am the type that you can tell the pinks that I like have more of the lavender undertones. I really enjoy the lavender undertones. And the Chanel Deauville was a bag I wanted to add to my collection. I had purchased the black a while ago, but I immediately returned it because I noticed, you know, having a black bag with a golden retriever with this type of material you know, his hair or just little fibers would get stuck to it. So I knew that that was not the right one. And if I did invest in black, I might want to look into the leather Black Deauville. But I love this pink one. This is a good bag for travel. I have also worn this casual as well. It's such a pretty bag. And the thing I like is it has top handles. So you can wear it on the crook of your arm. But then it also has this chain, which has the shoulder straps. So you can wear it as a shoulder bag too. So it's very, very versatile in that sense. It also does come with a little pouch that does attach. So you can put makeup, toiletry items in here. And then you can see I do have an organizer in there. It's one of the thinner organizers just to keep the bag clean. But this bag really does fit so much. And I just love, again, the versatility of it. So the color is beautiful, fits a lot. This would be a really good work tote for sure. It's comfortable to wear. I mean, it's comfortable sometimes when I'm wearing this, like I feel like the strap falls. But for the most part, it's very comfortable to wear even when I have the bag full, but it is so beautiful. And once again, you guys, the color did it for me. When I was in Vegas, I will insert some clips. I tried on this bag so many times and I knew I was going to get this one because I was on a pink kick and I wanted to add the Deauville and I knew if I added the Deauville, it had to be in a lighter color and I'm just, I'm so glad I did it. So, so pretty. Can we talk about my favorite color? And of course I love pink, but I also love Tiffany blue and I bought this bag two years ago for my 40th birthday. I treated myself and it is the Chanel mini rectangular and this is the color is light blue but it's a Tiffany blue and it was from the cruise collection the cruise 19 collection 
it is the prettiest color blue. Now, I was not able to get this from the boutique because I missed out. I completely missed out on this collection, and by the time I wanted it, it was way too hard to get. So I actually purchased this pre-love from someone who owned it once. Now, she did have a little bit of wear and tear. She only wore it once or twice, but there were, was some wear and tear from her jeans. So I actually ended up getting this bag for like under retail, so I was really excited about it. And I I have used it so much. First off, you see this beautiful Tiffany blue. It has the silver turn lock closure, which I love. The pocket on the back, which again, you will be able to see there is some wear and tear, but I was okay with that because normally when I wear the back, you know, you see this part here. So it has grommets at the top, so you can see the chain goes out very easily. And I'll tell you, I love the mini rectangular. I can see why they're so popular because not only are they really comfortable to wear, but they actually fit a lot for a tiny bag. So you open it up and it has a little zip compartment, which I just have the receipt in and I should take that out and the authenticity card. And then it has one large compartment. I do have an organizer, but I do find that an organizer sometimes makes it a little smaller. So a lot of times I don't use it, but I will insert an overlay. This fits a lot, a card holder, lipstick, you know, anything you would need to carry. But I love this so much. I consider getting another one. I usually wear this, wear this as a crossbody bag and I feel like it fits nice. You can also wear this as a long shoulder as well. Now, because it is a single flap, I don't know if you could, you might be able to make it a top handle, but you would have to finagle it in a way where you pull the chain through and maybe somehow, you know, put the chain in a knot inside the bag to make it a top handle because it's not going to stay as easily. But there are a ton of different ways that you can wear it, but you guys, you cannot deny this color. Like... I love this color so much that I have considered getting this color in another size. I just, oh my God, the Tiffany blue is just so scrumptious. And I was so excited about this. Now, granted, it was two years ago, but if you haven't checked out that birthday haul, make sure to do so. I also was able to pick up two other pieces in the boutique that didn't match exactly, but they were a close match. It was, let's just say it was a Tiffany blue 40th birthday that I treated myself to. And I love this bag, so functional. If you can get your hands on the mini rectangular, such a good one. I have worn it so much. Next bag. I know I say this about a lot of bags, but we're going to have a moment with this bag because I know that I've said the Chanel Jumbo was my dream bag. I know that I gawk about my Tiffany blue, but this bag I'm about to mention is just like, every time I see it, I just, I'm in awe of a handbag because it's so beautiful. And it is the Chanel medium classic flap in the iridescent pink but once again it has the lavender undertones now this bag i wanted it so bad i hunted and hunted and hunted like i like again i was also too late to the game there was no chance possible of getting it in the boutique because it was gone <laughs> But I ended up getting this in um, new condition on Fashion File, and I waited. And just a tip, I added it to my card, and then it reduced by 5% because no one bought it. Then 10% no one bought it. And then it was 10% off, and then I also had an additional coupon code. I think it was for Lunar New Year or something like that. So I got this bag new condition under retail. Such a good deal. So definitely, if you have a bag on your wish list, your radar, check Fashion File. This video is not sponsored by Fashion File. I purchased a couple bags. Sometimes things work out, sometimes they don't, but this one definitely is just stunning. And as you could see, I have it in the middle of my closet, so when I walk in, I can see it. But it is the iridescent flap it has lavender undertones it has the champagne gold hardware mona lisa pocket see the bottom turn lock closure double flap and then the zip compartment same as the others where there's a little bit of space up here and then i want to tell you guys exactly what this is from the 21s so i still keep like the tags and everything 21s can see the beautiful interior once again I do have um, an organizer for this but I haven't used it yet because I have found sometimes my organizers can stretch out my bag so I try to be careful but um, you saw with the medium classic flap the ways to wear it I will wear it as a um, little like top handle and then I will also take the strap out and 
you know, wear it as just like a short shoulder. And then I will also wear it as a long shoulder as well. Now, one tip I have to mention, people have asked me about the wear and tear. So, so far it's in good condition. I do have one little spot right here where there was a little bit of wear and tear. So you have to be careful, but I try to wear my light colored bags with light colored clothes or um, the same color. Like you'll notice in a lot of the pictures I've shared, I have the same color on. Um, like I think I wore it with like a pink wool coat. I've also worn it with um, a white dress. So I try to be very careful, but you guys, oh, I love this bag and it fits all of your essentials as well. I will insert an overlay so you can see what fits, but it is just so beautiful. And I would say if I had a dream bag, this is my dream bag. Like I just love it. It is so pretty. I've saved. Um, it represents hard work for me and I just love it absolutely love it okay we are down to the wire we are down to the last bag and this is the newest bag that i added to my collection so if you haven't seen my recent unboxing make sure to check it out and it is the chanel 19. this is in lambskin leather small size in black with it's got the gold hardware but it also has the silver hardware here now i did wear this today however I kind of cheated because I ordered a base shaper from M Boutique I'm waiting on that and I, I also ordered an organizer and I wanted to wait to wear it until I had both of those because my sales associate and everyone I've spoken to has said the one negative thing about the Chanel 19 is the bottom can slouch so you really want to get a base shaper or an organizer so it'll keep it keep the rectangular shape so but I did wear it today this is going to be such a functional bag but the long I have it I plan on doing a what's in my bag I also plan on doing review and I also plan on doing comparisons but I think it's going to be so functional because it has a top handle which I love it has a strap which is not adjustable it does have the two-toned hardware which I will be honest that's one of the things I did not like about it one of the things that did hold me back but I feel like with the two-toned hardware it doesn't matter what kind of jewelry you wear <laughs> it does have a back pocket which has a snap closure now keep in mind it only comes as of now in lamb skin it used to come in goat skin but it's only in lamb and i have heard the uh, goat skin is a little more durable but we'll see how this goes you open it up and it has this beautiful beautiful red compartment i did order a red organizer for it and i'm so excited about it you guys i right now as you can tell the way i'm handling it i'm still trying to be really careful with it because it is new like within the past like couple weeks that i purchased it but again i knew i wanted to add the 19 to my collection for the longest time and i think it's going to be such a functional bag i have heard nothing but good things with it so i can't wait to use it and love it and tell you the positives and the negatives just to show you how to wear you obviously can keep it as like a top handle and I will insert a clip of me wearing it top handle I actually wore it um, today and then you can also wear it as a crossbody and it fits at a perfect spot crossbody also wear it as a long shoulder as well so this is so pretty I'm so excited but I can already tell that if I didn't get an organized you see how you can see it starting to slouch and I really want it to keep its structure because I just think it's so beautiful it reminds me of just a giant pillow you could just put your head on it and go to sleep I just absolutely love it Hey guys, I wanted to do a little insert here because I finished filming and I realized, oh my gosh, how could I forget this bag? But this is another handbag that I recently added in my collection. I got this around Christmas time because I thought it would be a good holiday bag. I knew I wanted to add a red bag to my collection and there was something about these clutch on chains that kind of piqued my interest and you will recall if you watch that unboxing video that I got this and I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it because initially I wanted the type of red that had almost the orange undertones and you can see this one has um, kind of the blue undertones so as you can tell I did decide to keep it so this has the silver hardware the turn lock closure is so beautiful the clutch on the chain it does have a back pocket which is really sizable and you can put your phone in here now this bag is discontinued so if you want to get it you do have to get it pre-loved i purchased this from a reseller um, on instagram you can see it does have a chain 
and you can either wear this as a shoulder bag or you can tuck the chain in and wear it as a clutch. This is a really, really like soft caviar leather. So it's like really like squishy. So let me share with you what fits. So you open the turn lock closure. You can see there is a little compartment here. And then this is what I have in here. I just have a lipstick. I love these liquid lipsticks from Chanel. Okay. And then I just have a little key pouch from Louis Vuitton. I have a card holder from Chanel. I have the little Hermes Bastia, which I have coins in. And then I have the little boy coin and that's what fits. It's a cute little clutch. It definitely fits a lot. I love the fact that it has a back pocket really really soft squishy leather so I can't believe I almost forgot this the only bad part is you can only wear this as a short shoulder or a clutch you can't wear it as a crossbody I guess you could always maybe add a chain let's see yeah you could probably tuck this chain in and then add a chain if you wanted to make it like a longer crossbody bag but I can't believe I almost forgot this one so I wanted to do an insert to make sure you guys could see this red beauty as well Hey guys, there you have it. Thank you for spending time with me today and going over my Chanel handbag collection. I would love to know which bag was your favorite. I will try really hard to try to find these bags on the pre-love market and link them down below in case you're interested in anything similar. I am just over the moon. A lot of people ask me what is my favorite and it would be so hard to pick a favorite. I can tell you my medium classic flap in black, I wear that all the time on date nights but I, I just love that pink bag. I don't wear that color as much, but it's so beautiful. I'm excited for this one because it's gonna be functional. The Deauville is good for travel. Like, I'm just so excited about these. Oh, how can I forget the little mini rectangular, which I'll tell you, I wear that bag more than I thought. You would think with the bag being so bright and colorful, you wouldn't. I wouldn't wear it that much, but I definitely gravitate towards it. Not only for its functionality, it's comfortable to wear, but the color is just, scrumptious. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and make sure to hit that little subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. This is where I do a lot of get ready with me reels. I share what's in my bags. I also share with you outfits of the day styling these bags. So make sure to follow me over there. Thank you again. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video.